Welcome back to Mafia 3. So if you guys remember from uh, the last uh, part that I made, I was, uh, I drove my car into a, uh, into a, I, I guess you could say a ravine of sorts? What did you say, a ravine? I don't know what it's called, but all I know is I drove my car in there and there were gators. So I shot the gators and then they just kept coming and I was not trying to get eaten by one. So I legit just restarted the game. <laughs> Cause I was not about to put myself through that. So. Yeah. Like it was not, it ain't me. So. We're gonna drive to the center here. Cause I figured that's more than likely where this guy is gonna be at. But yeah, I just restarted it because I was not dealing with it. So, yeah. Kill Santan. You know, I would if he was around. Okay, see, this is this is the issue here, okay? Got targets burning down on me in the French ward. Of course, be there soon. Okay, I don't have time for the cops right now, so... Okay, this is low key stress. They killed my guys like nothing. He was legit rolling in the deep. He was not rolling in the deep. But Adele, not, not Adele. But he was rolling in the deep, bruh. A rolling and he rolled in deep. There we go. You, you must be Vanika. My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Neighbor, Lincoln Clay. These things mean the same thing. <laughs> Is that my car? Bro. No. Not my car. Come on. Uh, see, so we can't have nice things. He, he fucking destroyed my car. Lord help. Yeah, Lord help is right because my car got destroyed. You know, if this was like Grand Theft Auto where, you know, you have to get repairs and whatnot, I'd be livid because it destroyed. It's like they have no care for the property of others. This business is for sale, but can I be so control for trespassing? It's for sale, so. What? Well, I guess I can. No, I guess it's fine. Oh, that works. I wonder if anything will be here. Or what, was something here before? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just so upset. Well, we're gonna go to our next car. How do I unlock this? Oh. Yeah, that's not gonna happen ever. So. <laughs> we can try, but it's just not. Just getting her warmed up. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Oh, oh, bro. I swear they're always trying to. Thank you. Okay, so for starters, there's a medicine cabinet here, and we're gonna go to it because I'm not about to spend more money on medicine. 
But he ain't here. You decide to report with Mr. Duval, the host of this year program. So I'm just gonna leave the radio on for now, or in general. Like, oh, what? What's the point of that? I'm just gonna leave the radio on because I figure they play music during scenes, and it is a game. So I imagine that it'd be fine in terms of copyright issues. So I mean, the fact that I bought the game, I mean, it should be fine. That Remy was murdered, folks. And some of you may have heard what happened on the news, and I don't want to get into the particulars of it on account of it being an ongoing investigation. But we're going to find out who did it, New Bordeaux. And I'll tell you this much, God help him when I do. Mm -hmm. We look out for our own in New Bordeaux. And if anybody out there thinks that the murder of a white Christian citizen, a citizen whose roots go back to the very founding of this city, is going to go unanswered, well, you all don't know how I run things in this town. Yes, sir, there will be retribution. You all got my word on that. Mm hmm. See, you wouldn't, there wouldn't be stuff like this. How do I get inside? Is that the door? So you wouldn't hear stuff like this, you know, nowadays on the radio. A good white Christian man, okay, but uh, he was racist and kidnapping uh, other lovely black individuals. So, I mean, that was in itself. I, I think it's safe to say that he deserved to die. You know. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I guess I, I, guess I do have to go up the stairs. No one told him to be a terrible person. If he was a good person, maybe he'd still be alive. We're coming in here to get the health pack because I'm not I'm not trying to pay money for a health pack. Health is expensive in these parts. There's also a uh, attack vest over there in the corner. Not in the corner, but it's over here. Okay, not over here. It's somewhere around here. We'll get to it eventually. It's free. These things are expensive. Usually, you know, I just I just buy them. But uh, I figure maybe for once we should be smart about our dealings. They're in my way. And I was close to it anyway, so I'm just gonna just get it. Is there an exit over here? No. Is she on a monkey tail? You know, you're all just mad because I broke up your fraternizing, but you'll get over it. Okay. Yeah, I'm never gonna figure out how to get out of this place, and that's fine. Oh, we can go this way. There's just so many ways in and out, and it's just... It's just stress. Stress is what it is. But I literally think I'm on the entirely opposite- Oh, no, I'm not on the entirely opposite side. Well, that's convenient. I thought for sure I was on the completely opposite direction of where I needed to go. But that was not the case. Okay, so... Oh. It's so strange. Like, we're legit on the last little bits and pieces. I could have sworn I did- Oh. I didn't change the mission back over. I was supposed to do the kill the judge one in the last one. But when I fell into the little water thing, I... I, I restarted the game and it decided I wanted to take me to the Santa, whatever the guy's name is first. I mean, it's fine. It was completed. It's done. Okay, cop, cop. Look, like, you're. Hold on, wait, there's a health pack right there. We're just gonna get the health pack. Because I don't wanna buy any more. For right now. I wanna at least have four. Well, it's kinda far, don't you think? Is this a trespassing? It is now. Where's this medicine cabinet? Oh, it's behind this door. What? It's only trespassing if they see you. Remember that. Remember that, kitties. It's only trespassing if they see you. <laughs> just, just kidding. It's trespassing. Oh, I mean, yeah. I guess by that logic, it is trespassing if they see you. Because if they don't see you, yes, you're technically trespassing, but if they don't see you, they're not going to call the cops on you, so. I mean, I guess by that logic, you would be fine. 
But still, don't trespass, kids. I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. First elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is going to do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that it's long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. Um, they want me to take down an armored vehicle. Okay. Maybe I take an armored vehicle with an armored vehicle. And watch out for the cops. Kill Judge Holden. Oh, he's moving. I'm in combat. Combat with who? Oh, geez, they would be coming this way. Wow, they would be coming. Okay, we're gonna follow them. See justice done. Who y'all coming for? You're not coming for me, right? I'm just gonna follow him and see what kind of conversation he makes because. Oh god. Or I could just have a full shootout and just get the police dispatcher and call it a day. That would be fine too. Or shoot the tire. Well, it's armored, so there's no point in shooting the tires because it's an armored vehicle, so. As much as I want to just, you know, shoot the vehicle and call it a day. I used to be a terrible day. Your Honor, shh. Why don't you just get on radio and tell everybody I'm here? Jesus. Compliments of Uncle Lou. Now, what is it have for me today? That's Afghani. You gonna love it. Fine, fine. 
Hmm. That gonna work? All units, suspect confirmed armed and dangerous. Approach with extreme caution. We're gonna let's get the police. He's gonna see me, but it's fine. How do they even know? Oh, snaps. That was a bad. This is fine. This is fine. We're gonna let them chase me for once because we never let them chase us. So if we get out the circle, starting now. Look at that. That was easy. <laughs> that was probably the easiest, uh, whenever. I'm mad it's an armored vehicle, but I literally just threw a grenade and then the grenade blew up. So. I guess armor does not mean fully protected. But, well, here we are. And we got rid of the cops without, uh, do it using a thingy thing. So, I would like to say I'm proud of myself for that accomplishment. I'm still upset that I won't get the one accomplishment for, uh, killing, or killing all of them or saving all of them. But, you know, it's fine. If I realized that was a, if I realized that was a thing beforehand, I would have um, opted for one or the other instead of mixing it up. I would have just killed them all because obviously the the one racist ones like they weren't gonna get saved regardless. So <laughs> I'm not gonna play this game ever again. Or, I mean, I guess to make it easier, if I were to, you know, um, go back and play this game, I wouldn't bother doing the optional or the wiretaps, because the wiretaps is what gives you the option to save them as opposed to killing them. So with that in mind, if I were to somehow miracu miraculously end up playing this game again, then I would uh, most definitely just kill everyone. Oh, let's say what? So, like I said before, everything now is just so streamlined. If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I got a beat on him. And I have a wiretap. Because if you go into the kill list, we're about to kill Uncle Lou right now. We killed Olivia, and that was just... We killed Olivia, killed another guy, and it was just everything. So... This game is literally gonna end Get fairly in. quickly. You've got a boat to catch. Maybe even today. You Who wanna knows? hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden. Is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now she keep holding him one goddamn piece to laugh at that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Till we get to it. Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. 
once he sees that payday, Jacob is going to do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It's old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom. It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still. 40-60? Nah, nigga. We don't... Mm -mm, mm -mm. I need a 100% surefire, like, chance that I'm not gonna get... Mm -mm. I don't mess with water, and obviously Lincoln Clay does not mess with water either. So how the hell do we get in here? 3070 at the worst. What? How do I get in there? Oh, I see. Ladder. What am I trespassing on? Can I just jump down here? Is there even anyone here? It says I'm trespassing, but I... Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh, he's not paying me no attention, so that's fine. Um... Oh, look. They're all right here. Convenient. That was the best fucking shine I ever had. All I had was some like one sub or two. Okay, maybe it was three or four, but I, you're on my mama's grave. It was some good stuff. Hmm. I mean, they're all, like, up above and down below, so... If I'm lucky... If I go around the other way, like, I'm... I'll say I'm pretty confident they won't see me. But just in case... Hmm... see me just fine by me I'm gonna turn the camera around all right well it's like he's running around so loud did they not hear this like he's so loud <laughs> I'm half expecting him to <laughs> fall through something escape. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. 
detonate the C4. Why am I so quiet? Like ominously quiet. <laughs> like I know why it's quiet, but there's only three of them. I could have killed them if I wanted to. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, I still opened it. Okay, that's fine. I feel like I didn't open it at all. Ooh, I think I might need one. I'm gonna need to find one more, uh, what you call it. We're gonna get to Uncle Lou in the next part, so like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and remember, stay lit.